Hello, we are here with Rosalind. She has been a member of the Digital Product Empire for three months now. She's going to continue. And I'm so excited to have her here. So please, Rosalind, tell us about you, your business, why you decided to start making digital products and how it's been. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you are my uh, digital product empire princess. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Or maybe fairy godmother. Um, <laughs> So my business is mainly uh, has been coaching and mentoring and energy work and art has always been held for me as a spiritual practice with art journaling and all the pieces that I help clients through and that also keep my energy steady and uh, where it needs to be to live the life I want to live. And behind me are pieces I've done. The small one here is uh, actually fiber art. And then the other two are with paint. And the digital world, because I buy a boatload <laughs> of printable products for working with junk journals and the art that I do, I'm like, yeah, I think I want to get into that game. It looks fun. And, um, there are several people that I follow that I'm also one of these people that if it's not going to be productive, I don't want to bother doing it. So it's the idea of I'm going to sell something for a dollar. Yeah, whoop, right? But I was in one of the gals who sells printables for junk journals. And I'm because I've been in the internet marketing world for years and years, I'm, I'm watching her process. And so she's creating these master boards on the video with us in YouTube. And then she takes those master boards and she creates all of her other pieces and the ephemera and all, all. And then she puts them together and sells them as a journal kit on her Etsy store. And I saw that for, she sells them for somewhere in the neighborhood of 365 to, I don't know, there's some that are really decked out and they're like maybe 650. She has sold, made over a million sales. Now you put that into your calculator <laughs> and it's like, that might be worth messing with. Now, I totally get it. I totally respect her. She is on YouTube all the time. She is working this but it's working. So I kept looking around for how do you do it? I'm also a, what's the simplest, easiest way to get from A to Z. And then I ran into Claudia and we did a couple small programs together. And then she offered the digital product empire. <laughs> and I went, yes, <laughs> that sounds good because it was an immersion. And the biggest pieces for me, the takeaway were the accountability and also having Claudia's eye on my work and going, that's good. You can do this and this and this and this with it. Um, I was also a little Etsy aversion. I, um, I heard all the tales from everywhere and didn't know if Etsy was the route I wanted to go or if I needed to do Shopify or eat all the all there's just there are way too many choices <laughs> and what I like about the way Claudia works is these are the pros these are the cons these are the pros these are the cons if you want to just get started just do an Etsy shop from there, you can branch out into a million different things, or you can do what I've done for a couple of years, which is think about it. <laughs> and yeah, and so being with Claudia, it got the, it moved the thinking into doing. And I have joined again for this new run because I'm just getting the momentum started. I am ridiculously excited <laughs> about 
about what I have accomplished, you will all laugh when you see my beautiful Etsy shop. But I have a plan in place. And my life is, re this is the other piece. If you're thinking, oh my God, I can't take on another thing. My life was ridiculously full. I was putting on a summit and I had three or four other projects that were, you know, where you get to a place in a project where your hands on. And yet I still managed to accomplish all of this in our time together because it was so focused. And it was so, this is where we are. What are your questions? Here's your answers. Now let's work. <laughs> yeah. I think Love that's the coworking. <laughs> I think that's something very important to, to talk about in your case because you were really busy with the summit, but still every week you managed to do something or show up and say, hey, what can I do with this amount of time? And I really loved helping you because it was exactly what I was thinking when I proposed this for the mm -hmm. first time to everybody. I said, hey, this is thought for people who are really busy. If you are not really busy, you are welcome to join also. But I have plans for people who are busy that they can still you know, move forward. And I remember talking with you and you're saying, I've been investigating this and trying this and then that, and I have this course and what if I purchase this and the other and me telling you, can we go back to the paintings you already did? Maybe you can take from there things and they are already done. And all these wow moments we realized together, I think they are a real good example of what it means to do this while you're busy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, one of the biggest things, and y'all will see it, we started off with, which was my original idea, was making master boards. And so I made a bunch of master boards. You want me to show those now? Sure. You can share your oh, screen I, and we uh, can see it. We're going, we're going to test my skills here. <laughs> So these are, these are the master boards. This is what we ended up with. So I was um, also, because I, you know, I've been researching this for a long time. So I was very conscious that these are going to become printables. So all the materials here belong to me. They are either hand created by me or they are vintage and out of copyright or they are um, public domain. So I was very conscious of all of that. So these are the originals that I put together. And the idea behind them is that they are being sold as master boards, which means you don't necessarily just take this board and paste it down and you're done. No, you tear it all up and now you've got an amazing array of material to work with yourself. And I did through Claudia's guidance, and I think it made a lot of sense. Oh, and these are all vintage wallpapers, which just make my heart sing. Um, they are all going to come with commercial license because as an artist, I become incredibly frustrated when I see something and then it's personal use only. And so somewhere in my brain and my files and my tubs, I have to keep personal use stuff separate from what I can use in my sellable art. And so I just gave up buying personal use products. And so I made the decision and the choice that all of my items have commercial use. Um, you wanna make something with my work and sell 500 of them, God bless you. <laughs> so I love that. And then there was, as we were looking at my art, and I've actually put it here behind me, this is a scroll that I made. And let me show you how those turned out because Claudia's suggestion was, oh, can we scan it? <laughs> I'm like, well, gee, probably. So I'm just going to run through these as I'm sharing. So these are this scroll, which I see some are less than others, but it's just a background. And they, I managed to pull 
This scroll is many pages long and it is double sided. And there are 60 scans from this piece of artwork that I have already created. So I'm working on the bundling of them to put in the shop. And I gotta say, I'm just so ridiculously tickled with what happened in these just these last few months. From, I wanna say the other piece is that working with Claudia, working through this process, it really moved me into this being, the beingness of, I am an artist with sellable skills. And that was priceless. So even if nothing else had happened <laughs> and I got there, <laughs> Claudia, it was utterly amazing. I'm so, so happy to hear that. Yeah. And so it was you saying, ooh, let's try that. Let's scan this. Let's, <laughs> let's just see what happens. And then just for fun, again, y'all will all laugh, but it's long. <laughs> <laughs> my shop actually is live took me three months and a couple hours yesterday <laughs> but again after all of the I want to go into a couple years of thinking about this I have something for sale on Etsy ah! so, <laughs> And just to also say that we had folks in our group who were like way further along and you'll see them as well in other videos. So if you're not absolutely brand spanking new wondering, gosh, could this actually work for me? Have no fear. This is not a beginner only class, but it is available to those who are beginning and one of the other big big pieces for me and I as we've already mentioned I have a wonderfully full exciting life I knew I could not do this on my own and one of the biggest pieces for me joining the program besides working with Claudia was that Claudia said I'm going to share with you when you're ready how to work with the VA. And I was like, all right, all in. <laughs> because I have worked not for the art, but for other pieces of my business. I have worked with VAs and whew, getting one up to speed, you just go, I mm, could have done it myself and then on to the next thing. And so having Claudia there saying, okay, this is what you can expect a VA to do for you. This is the information you might want to share with her. But I love how she does not just, okay, hi, day one, don't. <laughs> because if you're not ready, you're not ready for it. And so, okay. But if you are and you're, or, or if you're like me in a way, you're holding back from getting started because you are concerned that with your lifestyle and the business you already have going, you won't be able to continue. Put those aside because you will have a way to continue when this part of the journey begins to build momentum. 60 scans to put up. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's true. The process with the VA for me it took me years until I really said, okay, let's try. I just had so many reasons to not do it, you know? It, they were all, when I look at them right now, it feels, it makes no sense. But at that moment, it was like, yeah, yeah, I cannot do it because I'm not earning enough. I'm not making sales yet. I'm not ready. I'm too busy to find somebody. Nobody will be able to do it. You know, all those reasons until mm -hmm. I said, hey, let's try it and see what happens. 
And then I realized, oh my God, I should have started before. So that's one of the parts of the program to find out when you are ready and help you through my VA or any other VA, it doesn't matter, but you know how to start delegating and realizing you can focus on the creativity and the fun part and somebody else can <laughs> manage things that maybe you are not good at or you are bored of doing or they don't motivate you. Because sometimes for me, it's even, I have so many products I haven't uploaded just because, yes. you know, the laziness of going and uploading it. So the fact that you can pay somebody to do it and they will be happy to do it for you. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, I'm glad to, to hear that to you, it was also a great experience. Yes, yes. And I've got her very, very busy. She's recoloring all of the master boards. And so as they, as they go online, they'll have different colorways. And I, I'm very, very excited about um, where things are headed. Yeah, and it's great because in your case, for example, you are not a graphic designer like I am. So mm -hmm. in your case, it's, it's great to have her help through the graphic design direction. And in my case, she is also helping me with graphic design, but it's more like following exactly my steps. And I tell her, this is how I do it. And she repeats my steps. So mm -hmm. we can find solutions for everyone, right? And depending mm -hmm. at what stage you are in, or what um, skills you have and what skills you wish you had, we can find the, the right balance. Yes, very exciting. Well, thank you so much, Rosalind, for sharing all of this. Um, I will put your link, obviously, on the description of the video so everybody can see your store. And I'm so excited to have you on board for the next round. So I can't oh, wait to you. see what else you create. <laughs> Well, thank you. It's been a ride and I look forward to welcoming all of the new people in because it's fun to see. It's fun to be in a space with other artists. It doesn't matter if they're doing the same thing you're doing or different things. It's still that creative juice is flowing and you are a, uh, a master speaker for that. So thank you. Thanks to you. Bye. Bye.